Hey everyone, welcome back to Cinema Crate. Today, we're talking about muzzle flashes, if you can't tell, because over the years, I have seen so many movies and, and scenes on TV where the muzzle flashes are just, they're not up to par. Like, maybe it's a good show or a great movie or something like that, but, but the muzzle flashes are just so bad that they kind of take you out of it. They look like a little candle flame on the end of the gun. So anyway, today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to add muzzle flashes to your footage and not look jank as crap. All right, so once you've imported your footage into After Effects, you're going to find the portion where your actor fires the gun. The gun goes off. So we find that frame, which is gonna be right about, we'll say there, and well, actually, we'll say there. So what we'll do is we will duplicate the footage and we are going to delete one frame. So if we trim this top footage to this, and we trim this bottom footage, to this, and then we just move it over one. Now, there is more of a sudden and more violent jerking motion. Ah, yeah, that's looking good. So, now we have recoil. All right, so now that we've got some decent recoil going on, let's go ahead and add the muzzle flash. All right, so we've imported our muzzle flash, and you definitely want a muzzle flash asset that has some smoke to it, so when we play this, you see that there's a little bit of a smoke layer that follows afterwards right there. And that's nice, you want that. But this muzzle flash does not look like it goes in this scene. So let's fix that. What we're gonna do first, obviously, is go to the scene where the gun goes off and place your muzzle flash. So now we're just going to move it, rotate it into position, kind of get the length going with the direction of the gun there. And then what we're gonna do is kind of place it on the end. Now for some reason at this point, in like The Walking Dead and some bigger production movies I've seen, they, they, this is it. This is, congratulations, you've made a muzzle flash. This looks like garbage. Don't do this, don't do this. So next what we're gonna do is we're going to scale it. Let's see, let's turn the scale up. You want your muzzle flash to be about the size of the gun. So go ahead and get that in there, right about there. And we're gonna change the blending mode to add. That is already looking better, but it still doesn't look perfect. So now what we're going to do is head over here and put a directional blur. There are lots of ways to do this. This is just the way we're doing this today. Whoops. Let's see, get that directional blur going, get, it, get an amount that you like, and then get that direction headed the right way. All right, it's looking pretty good. We got one more thing to do. So muzzle flashes throw off light. The last thing you're gonna wanna do is select these. Oop, that doesn't work anymore. Pre-compose them. And then what we are going to do is duplicate that layer. And just for that frame, we are going to set that layer's blending mode to add. And then we are going to mask. Feather that mask. Drop the opacity. And you, my friend, now have a convincing muzzle flash. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe if you haven't. We're gonna have more content coming up. Make something awesome.